is just this, and you just throw it around your neck and call it a day. I don't know what these straps are for. Hey everybody, it's Al or Ariel. I am back for another bump date. And by bump date, I really mean bump date. Check this out. I definitely popped this week. Look at that bump! Holy moly! I now have random strangers asking me when my due date is, if it's twins, um, if we know what gender we're having, so, um, and I know a lot of people get kind of annoyed by that, but to me it is just so amazing to look pregnant and feel pregnant and have people notice that I'm pregnant um, because I feel like when you take so long to actually get pregnant you really just savor every single minute of it and that's totally how it's been so far uh, so sometimes I do my videos like in our spare room which is going to be our nursery and sometimes I do videos out here uh, some of it has to do with what's going on in our lives right now <laughs> Uh, soon to be nursery or eventual nursery is pretty messy because this week the thing I wanted to talk about the most is baby gear. Yay! So I'll officially show you guys some of the baby gear in another vlog or update or whatever. But I just wanted to tell you a little bit about we what we got this week. So I went on one of those yard sale Facebook websites. I've been a part of it for a long time and just kind of keep an eye on things. There's a really great one that's local um, that is specifically for children's items only, which is really helpful because if you go on a general yard sale Facebook website, like for your town, you just get a lot of mismatch of stuff. But a children's one is really helpful, especially because, you know, if someone's selling like a couch or whatever, they want to get a good price for it. But if someone like is done having babies, and paid a lot for this high chair or whatever, they just want to get rid of it. Like, they don't want it anymore, they don't have a need for it, and so they are just like willing to sell it for very short dough. Um, but anyway, so that's what we did this week, is we got a high chair, a jumperoo, what else did we get? We got our co-sleeper, and we got a pack and play. So that was all this week from various different people. Um, the person that gave us the co-sleeper and the jumperoo also threw in a bumbo, which I don't know if people use those very much anymore, but we have it and she threw it in for free. Um, she also threw in for free like a mirror car thing that's supposed to be for um, like your baby facing, rear facing and you can like see it from the back, that kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> whatever that's called, rear facing mirror for your car seat. Um, so we got a lot of like really cool stuff this week, which was really exciting. So this week what I've been mainly doing is I had a little time off from work. So I have been just kind of like laundering anything cloth that can be laundered. I have been cleaning anything that, that's like plastic and needed to be cleaned. Dishwashering, anything can be dishwashered. Like just getting all the baby gear clean because my hope is, and I'm already hearing the moms out there rolling their eyes at me. <laughs> because I know I would be, but uh, my goal is to have most of the nursery and all the big stuff done through my second trimester. And I'm almost at my second trimester now, and so I really want to like start getting things together. And I said I wanted to get things done in my second trimester because I really didn't want to be like gigantic and putting together like a crib. It just didn't sound like fun to me. I'm, I mean, I'd say me and my husband are kind of roughly on the same level of handiness, meaning we're not very handy, but I'm a little bit more handy than he is, so I'm probably going to be doing a lot of the actual putting together of furniture, obviously with his help, so I didn't want to be like, like I said, gigantic and uncomfortable and putting together big furniture. Um, so that's kind of what's going on right now. Symptoms wise, all of the symptoms have pretty much kind of stopped or not stopped, but like the really bad heartburn has really slowed down. I still get heartburn here and there, um, but it's really not nearly as bad as it was before when I was on the progesterone, so it's been pretty easy going. I have been having round ligament pain, which is kind of like, I don't know, it's like really low and it's like on the sides and it's just kind of sore. Um, it's not like, it's not like constant really bad pain, it's just like there. Um, and I'll talk more about this in my 12-week update, 
but we did see our midwife for the first time when I was 12 weeks in one day. So that's more of a 12 week update. And of course, last night I get a call from her saying that when we had all of our tests done, like they take a urine sample and stuff, she said that she saw a lot of bacteria in my specimen and I was, and so she thinks I have a UTI. And I was really surprised by that because I've never had a UTI in my entire life. And um, so I was surprised, I, I guess like sometimes people would get that or are more prone to it during pregnancy, so I guess that's fine. She put me on amoxicillin three times a day for I think 10 days or something like that. Like, and I was really surprised by that. Um, and it's funny because I know people have like really a lot of pain during UTIs and are really uncomfortable. I have been having some pain, but I wasn't sure if it was around ligament pain or something else going on because I've never had a UTI, I've never been pregnant. I don't know what these things are. I've heard of people that have endometriosis and they have stretching pain in the beginning of their pregnancy. So I was just having like pelvic pain, not cramping. Definitely no cramping this whole pregnancy, thank God for that because that's bad. Um, but just kind of like discomfort down there. And <laughs> so now that I know it's a UTI and today when I was like walking around I had to go to the pharmacy to pick it up and as I was walking around, I had to go to the post office, I was just like, yeah, that does hurt. <laughs> like, walking around, like, my bladder is sore. I'm literally having, like, bladder pain. Um, so that's really uncomfortable, but it's really only when I'm, like, walking around and standing and stuff like that. Like, sitting, I'm pretty comfortable, so I feel fine. And I just started antibiotics, so hopefully that'll kick it and I'll be good. But I am sitting here drinking some pure cranberry juice. The other thing that definitely happened, as I mentioned, is I bumped up this week. I'm definitely showing, which is really cool, and I already did a haul for you guys before, but I'm going to do another haul now. Okay, so the first haul is some Amazon products. I got a couple more baby things, so let's see what we got. So it's just a couple things. There might be a second package coming eventually, but the first thing I got was a nursing cover. They had it on sale on Amazon, so I decided to go ahead and grab one. So this isn't the ones that have like the little wire that you can like see down into. I really prefer the wire ones I think. Um, this is just a cheapy one that's like literally just a sheet. So it literally is just this and you just throw it around your neck and call it a day. I don't know what these straps are for. Okay, I see. Guessing it goes like this, and then goes through here, and then that's how that works. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. So this is my first nursing cover ever. I'm very excited to have it. I thought it was kind of cute, like a pink color, and the reason why I wound up getting it specifically is because it um, folds up completely flat and small, so I figured this would be a really handy thing to like have in a pocket of either like my purse or my diaper bag um, to just be able to throw it on me. I'm totally all for nursing in public. I personally am a huge breastfeeding advocate, especially at work. That's a lot of what I do. So personally, I feel like people should just be able to whip it out anywhere. I have no problems with that. I think you guys are amazing. Um, personally, and uh, we believe in modesty, and so I'm attempting to find things that I can be able to cover up with in public. Um, but honestly, I know some people say like their baby hates the nursing cover, and if it's in my child's best interest to not use a nursing cover, and they hate it, and they won't breastfeed with it, then, you know, F that. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I'll go in a changing room, or whatever, or I might just like whip it out and just put a little napkin over me or something. I just think breastfeeding is super, super important and so if you can breastfeed, that's amazing and you shouldn't worry about being exposed while you're doing it, but I just thought that was cute and I thought I would give it a try. The next thing I got were these super cute bibs. Oh my gosh. I just think they're so, oh, and they're so soft. Oh my gosh, guys, these are amazing. I love them and they're just so cute. We do not hunt in this family, but I thought these were so cute. There's all these little patterns, and this one is deer. Um, it reminds me more of like New Hampshire, which is like one of our favorite spots, is like the what mountains, and obviously there's a lot of like deer and elk and stuff, so I don't see it as like hunting, I see it as like our vacation spot. And then look at the little stripes. So obviously these are a little bit kind of 
towards a boy type thing, but I still think a girl can rock these. Look at this one with the yellow stripe. Oh, these are so soft. I love them. And then we've got this one with feathers on it. So I'm more into like a classic baby look. You know, obviously the nursing cover I got is like very pink and very like girly for me. Um, but you know, I it's hard finding like gender neutral items. And so I've kind of had to like expand my idea of what like I feel like babies should be wearing or whatever. And so these are definitely more modern than I'm usually used to um, or would go for, but I just thought they were really cute for being gender neutral. And so I had to get them. Um, but those are the only things I got from Amazon. I thought I ordered a couple more products, but maybe it'll be in a different box. Sometimes they randomly send you multiple boxes, so that's fine. Um, so anyway, those are that. And then the next haul is another destination maternity. They had another amazing sale this past, I want to say two weeks ago, because I got like the discounted shipping. Um, so they had another amazing sale. I think it was like 50% off um, everything, including sale items and clearance items. So I was like, yes, please. And I had been looking on their website and kind of trolling around because something no one tells you is that you cannot wear your normal pajama pants anymore once you bump, once you have the bump. Um, like you think pajama pants are like stretchy and whatever, but I have a lot of like cute cotton ones, you know, like ones from like Old Navy and Target and whatever, and they just have no stretch to them or they have very little stretch. And they just are uncomfortable on the bump. Like I pull them up and I'll like leave them low, but then they're, it's just like uncomfortable. It's not, it's not a good fit. And I hate wearing like gym pants to bed because I get super, super hot. I just like light pajamas. So anyway, so I got myself some pajama pants and some other stuff. So let's see what we got here. Oh, I got some more samples. <laughs> These are, oh, these are my pajama pants. Look at how comfy those look. Awesome, 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 awesome. I really hope they fit. I had to kind of really guess on sizing for pajama pants because you want them to be like loose and comfy but you don't want them falling off of you. So, all right. I got myself a sweater. So this was all like on sale items. I think the pajama pants I paid full price for um, because it was worth it. But then there was a bunch of other stuff I liked that was on clearance, so. See, so this was, it's just a big comfy sweater. Oh my gosh, that's gigantic. Holy moly. Am I really gonna get that big? Look at this thing, it's like a tent. Ah, <laughs> is that for real skis? All right, wow. That's pretty large, but who knows, maybe I might need something that large. Okay, and then, I love it. And in case you're wondering, yes, all of these are size larges, and that is because I rock climb, and I have really big shoulders, and I cannot squeeze into mediums. I'm really in between a medium and a large. Like, medium fits my torso, and large is needed for my shoulders, so that is part of the problem. That's why some of this is gigantic. Um, but I might need things that are gigantic, so we'll see. Okay, and then... We've got this nice maternity sweater. Oh, I really like that a lot. That's such a pretty color. Oh, it's so pretty. And then this is another long sleeve shirt. Ooh, this is really soft. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at the lace. I love the lace. I got a lot from the Wendy Bellissimo collection because it was on clearance because a lot of this stuff is like, fall and winter items, but again, I'm going to be huge in the fall and winter, so that's why I made sure to get myself fall and winter items. Oh, this is so soft! Oh my gosh, the Wendy Bellissimo stuff is so soft! Look at how cute that is! I love that! This is beautiful! And it's like a very long tunic so you could like wear it with leggings and then it's got like a big slit so like your belly can fly free and then the last two things are leggings so my first pair of maternity leggings with the big uh bumperoo <laughs> stretchy elastic thing 
but these look really soft and really comfortable so I'm really happy with that I got a pair in gray and a pair in black so this is the black and that's the gray they're not that different in color but um, I just thought they were so cute. I'm so happy, guys. Yay! So the other reason I got a whole bunch more stuff, too, is like I said, I wanted pajama pants. I really wanted leggings. I heard from a million people to just get yourself maternity leggings. So I got that. And I have a lot of, like, tunics that I can wear with that. Um, but I just thought it was really funny because a lot of the stuff I was looking at and getting, I didn't realize there's different, like, trimesters that you shop for. And so a lot of the stuff I got it was like in the wrong trimester or whatever for what I was going to be and I feel like I'm already so big for only being 12 weeks pregnant that I was going to need some other stuff. That was an amazing sale so I say guys if you're pregnant definitely keep your eye on the amazing sales that they have and don't be afraid to buy yourself stuff for when you're going to be big. I know it feels weird to buy yourself stuff for like fall and winter even though it's not technically cold yet but definitely it's a good idea to keep your eye on the sales and just like make sure that you, you know, get what you need. <laughs> and so, um, we're happy with that haul. And that's it for now, guys. And if you like, subscribe. Bye.